And this question needs us to use the quotient rule. Again, I can see that by the look of the question, I've got one function divided by another. I can't simplify that fraction, but if I look at the top, I can differentiate it. If I look at the bottom on its own, I can differentiate it. So the quotient rule is appropriate here. Now the top we call u. And the bottom we always call v. And each of those need to be differentiated. So 4x squared becomes 8x, 1 becomes 0. And dv dx, e to the 3x stays the same but we multiply in front by the 3. Now the quotient rule is v times du dx minus u times dv dx and it's all over v squared. Now we substitute everything we have into that. V. This comes first. E to the 3x times du dx is 8x minus u times dv dx. So 4x squared plus 1 times 3e to the 3x. That's what we have on top. And it's all over v squared. Okay, might go over the page so I can fit it in. So this is the last line we got to on the previous page. And I want to simplify it. This term would look better with the 8x in front. Going to expand this out, I have minus 12x squared e to the 3x and I have minus 3 e to the 3x. And on the bottom, powers across a bracket, we multiply. So that will be e to the 6x. Can I simplify on the top? I've got an x squared, an x, and nothing. No x's in front of the e to the 3x. So it is, um, like there's no like terms there that we can simplify or add together. But there's a common factor of e to the 3x. And in addition to that, there's e to the 6x on the bottom. So let me go step by step. If I take out the e to the 3x, I might put the x squared term first, then the x term, and then the number. So that's the top factorised. So over e to the 6x. And then I can cancel. I've got a common factor here of e to the 3x. So divide it away from the top and divide this by e to the 3x, we are left with e to the 3x.